A well-known American dancer and choreographer, Martha Graham, is known for saying, nobody cares if you can't dance, just get up and dance. Great dancers are not great because of their technique, they're great because of their passion. Hello, my name is Cal Wadrowski, and this is lesson number two, part A, in this series of lessons on how to do the rhythm two-step, which is also known as the Arizona two-step. In this part A, I will go ahead and teach the gentleman's footwork, and then with Shelley's help, we'll go over the ladies' footwork. Part B of Lesson 2 will be a practice lesson for beginners who want to practice the footwork to a little music with some counting. And then Part C of Lesson 2, which is a very long lesson by the way, it is not necessary at all to watch in order to learn this dance. It's specifically intended for people who might be a bit confused about or have wondered about all the various ways that you see the basic footwork taught for this dance. The information in that lesson is also intended for people who might want to know why I teach it the way that I do and how the way I teach it compares to the other variations. By the way, the name of my YouTube channel is C-A-L-L-E-N-G-W. And the videos on my channel that are part of the actual lessons are numbered. So if you're interested in learning how to do this dance, I recommend that you watch the lessons in numerical order, not in the order that they're posted. So let's go ahead and get into the basic footwork for this dance. The basic footwork is taught in a number of various ways. Some of the ways that I see the basic footwork taught are very different from the ways that I've seen it done over the past 25 years. However, since most of the people teaching it are professional dance instructors, I'm quite confident that each of them has their own good reasons for teaching it the way that they do. The way that I teach it is congruent with A, it being a stationary dance, B, it working well when you're on a dance floor with a normal amount of people, but especially it also works when you're on a very crowded dance floor, and then C, in my opinion, it tends to flow better the way that I teach it and the way that I do it tends to flow better and looks a little bit better when you start adding moves. In addition to the way that I do it and the way that I'll be teaching in these lessons, there is one other way that is taught by some of the other country dance instructors in Arizona, which is similar to the way that I do it in that the three things that I just mentioned, A, B, and C, um, also apply to that other way. And that other way that I'm referring to is when you do the basic footwork in a circular pattern in order to keep the dance stationary. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and go over the gentleman's footwork, and then Shelley will help me to demonstrate the ladies' footwork. I think it would be a real good idea for men and women to watch this first part where I teach the gentleman's footwork because a lot of the information that I'm going to cover is relevant to both men and women. However, ladies, do not get confused when you're watching me teach the gentleman's part as the, as the uh, direction for your footwork will be just the opposite of the men's. Shelly and I will be going ahead and turn around while we're doing this so that you can see our feet from behind in the event that you want to go ahead and follow along. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with the gentleman's footwork, okay? Okay, as with most dances, the men will always start out with their left foot, and the ladies will always be starting out with their right foot. So, no matter how this dance is taught, it's basically two steps in one direction and one step in the opposite direction. I'm going to go ahead and show what I'm talking about. And by the way, when I'm doing this, I realize I'm going to step out of the range of the camera a little bit, but that doesn't really matter. Here we go. If we're going to go to the left, it's going to go take a step, take a step, and then back. A step, a step, and then back. A step, a step, and then back. If you were doing it forward and back, it would go something like this. A step, a step, and then back. A step, a step, and then back. If you were going to do it on an angle, it would typically be kind of in between those two, a little bit more to the gentleman's left, and that would go something like this. A step, a step, and then back. A step, a step, and then back. Now, the way that I do it, and the way that I teach it, is the gentleman going to the left, and the women going to the right, which we'll show in just a little bit. Because it's a stationary dance, I like to teach people uh, how to do it in a stationary fashion right from the get-go. And that will, we're going to simply do that by taking smaller steps 
to the gentleman's left than we do to the right. And of course, for the ladies, they're going to take smaller steps to the right than they do to the left. And that will go something like this. To the left, to the left, to the right. To the left, to the left, to the right. To the left, to the left, to the right. To the left, to the left, to the right. The way we'll count this is one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Sometimes we'll count it this way. One, two, three, tap, five, tap. And the reason for saying tap is to remind us not to put our weight on that foot since the next step is going to be with that same foot again. In other words, one, two, three, tap, because I'm going to step again with this foot, five, tap. So again, one, two, three, tap, five, tap, one, two, three, tap, five, tap, one, two, three, tap, five, tap. And it doesn't really matter what size steps you take. They don't have to be precise. You're dancing. Just have fun. The idea is to focus on smaller ones to the left than you do to the right, so you stay in the same general location. So it's not like it has to be some precise calculation. It's just smaller to your left than you do to the right. Now, with this footwork, you can stay in one place if you want. So if you're not doing any moves, you can just stay in one place and dance with the lady like this. If you want, you can rotate clockwise. Obviously, if you want, you can rotate counterclockwise. If you need to move to a different place on the dance floor, you can still be doing that. The main thing is, you focus on smaller steps to your left than you do to your right. Now, I want to go ahead and review that one more time in the event that for gentlemen who might not pick things up real fast, and if you want to go ahead and practice it while you're watching this, I'm going to do it for about 20 or 30 seconds, one more time. And uh, that would go something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, touch, five, touch. 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 Well, that's the basic footwork for the rhythm two-step, gentleman's part. Okay, so here's the basic footwork for the Arizona two-step. This is the ladies' part. Again, gentlemen, don't get confused if you're watching this because this is the ladies' footwork. It's going to be kind of the opposite of what the gentleman will do. The count on this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, touch, five, touch, one, two, three, touch, five, touch, or one, two, three, tap, five, tap. Um, remembering, ladies, that when you're doing the touch or the tap, you don't shift your weight to that foot. You're just kind of tapping the floor. You actually wouldn't even have to touch the floor, but you'll tend to do it more for balance and it'll look a little bit better than leaving your foot hanging in the air. So here we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the ladies footwork. Ready and one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, touch, five, touch. One, two, three, touch, five, touch. One, two, three, tap, five, tap. One, two, three, tap, five, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, that's ladies footwork. Arizona two-step, basic footwork. Well, that's how to do the basic footwork for the rhythm two-step. I strongly suggest that you consider practicing it either with a partner or by yourself. Now, you won't be able to practice a lot of the things that we teach in the later lessons. You won't be able to practice a lot of that by yourself. You'll kind of need a partner. 
Um, but you can definitely practice the basic footwork by yourself, and I would encourage you to do that. The more you're able to practice the footwork so that you can do it without thinking about it too much, and maybe even be able to do it while you're watching TV or talking to someone on the phone or listening to a podcast and things like that, the easier it's going to be when you start adding on moves. And, you know, you can practice it with shoes or boots on, but you can practice it barefoot, you can be fully clothed, you can practice it in your underwear, uh, you can do it in your living room, of course, or in your shower, it really doesn't matter. Also, you don't need to have music to practice it, obviously, but um, I would encourage you as much as you can to try to practice it to the beat of music when that's available. So I want to thank you for watching, and remember, no matter what, remember to dance like nobody's watching. See you in the next lesson.